Part of the issue too is like I always use my poor neighbor Mandy. Sorry, Mandy, but like <laughs> I have, I used to have migraines, and Mandy has migraines. So both may be driven by histamine, but we both may have different reasons or different triggers as to why right. they're showing up. So you can't. It takes a very individual approach, from person to person, to try to figure out what's going on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and how can we calm your body. And that's why we call it histamine haven. You need to create safety. Because you can do all the food pieces you want, but if you're not creating a safety place, you're not going to see the results you want. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh. I feel like I'm like going against <laughs> what we're about when I even just say that. But it's to be honest, like, yeah, like you can't, you have to, you, you need safety. Yeah. yeah. And we, we talk about that in the book, right? Like yeah. obviously as nutrition practitioners, our goal is to create safety with food. Mm -hmm. But... There are other ways that you need to be creating safety, so we outline some of those in the book. We wanted the book to be like the essential, like this is all the information you right. need yeah. in one place. So totally. even though the book is primarily a cookbook to get people started on that dietary journey, it is also a resource to say like, here are the other ways that you need to look at in your life and create safety within these different aspects of your life as well. So. Yeah, cool.